That is masculine energy that you as a man have to have. And power. You can build your power over time, but your masculine energy, that means your behavior, you gotta already have it in you. This is why I'm so confident around women. I don't sweat them, I don't stress them, I don't run behind them. I don't try to hit on every woman that I see. I speak with all I speak to all of them with love and respect, but I don't I don't try to date every single one of them. It's a different because I have a standard. I don't lie to them about anything. This is me, this is how I feel, this is this is my whole makeup, flaws included. Either deal with it with it or don't. Your choice. Plus, they can actually see me doing things constructive and productive. And it doesn't require me to be with a woman. I get along with them very well. You have any issues because you still try to understand how they think. And, and there's no need for that. They're emotional. That's how they think. The feminist movement has pushed this agenda with the help of the government to separate straight men and straight women. And soon it's going to be tranny time. And you women are going to be out in the cold. I'm going to do, do a show about that. I will do a video about that. You're going, to, you're going to have straight men dating trannies. Stay tuned for that. It's about to get ugly for you sisters, for you women in general, especially here in America. Stay tuned. That is coming. It's already here. It's just not in your face yet. Oh, it's coming. They said the same thing about homosexuality. Two men will never get married. They'll never pass a law that says it's okay for two men to get married. They passed that law, didn't they? Now it's normalized to see two men walking down the street, holding and kissing each other. And it's going to be the same thing with trannies. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready, get ready, get ready to rumble. Yeah. It's coming. You have been warned. But back to your brothers, though. Stop it with the... I'm going to make a whole lot of money for women to love and respect me. I'm going to buy this house. I'm going to buy this car. I'm going to fly her in. I'm going to send her on trips. I'm going to do this and that. You're just going to be used. She has to respect you as a person, as a human being. I know women marry drunks. The nigga drunk every day. Live and look like, like a pound cake. Drunk every day. She still marry him and still stay with him. It's a choice. It's a choice. And it's just that simple. Get your get your mind right, get your money right. Get just get yourself a passport like I did. And be out. Now until then, you can still date. Make sure she had make sure she's on the same page you are. But understand. Once you get to the point where you need to be financially, if you are not married yet, I suggest you leave the country. Before you do that, have a, have a relationship with people in other countries, especially with business. 
And when the time is right, be out. This is a sinking ship. And you can hear the music playing as we go down and down and down in the water to never resurface. And it starts and it starts right here with men and women relationship. And we are getting further and further apart. So you cannot gain her respect with just money. You cannot gain her respect because you you are a good guy or a tough guy. Has to be something in you that she loves and respect. Until that, it's not gonna happen, Captain. Sorry. Just that simple, brothers. Click like, subscribe to this channel, share these videos, hit the notification bell so whenever I upload a new video, you, you will be notified. Receive this information, but most importantly, apply this information and you will see a difference. As always, one, two, peace. Oh, just a side note. When you are dating a woman, if you want to know what she really is about, let her talk. Get her to the point where she's comfortable with just talking. It might take some time, it might not. Just let her speak to you. And she will tell you any and everything about her. Because women love to talk. We just don't like to listen. Because we too focused on them titties. I'm guilty of that as myself. Me too. And we get sidetracked. Keep your head up here. Pay attention to her. Look her right into her eyes. And just let her speak. And she will tell you everything what you need to know. Over a period of time. Then make your decision. Mm -hmm. Then make your decision. She having a conversation, she's talking with you, you're, uh, you know, I like flowers and, you know, I grew up in Wisconsin and, you know, I got a great career. Then all of a sudden, in between that, she goes, uh, I'm crazy. But you were supposed to hear that, though. But she came out and tell you, I can be a little crazy sometimes, you know. I, I stabbed my last boyfriend and spit in his mouth, you know. You're like, whoa, for what? He made me mad. He didn't get me the flowers I want for my birthday, so I keyed his car, then I stabbed him, and he fell to the ground, I spit in his mouth. Then I walked off. Crazy. That's all you need to hear. I'm just saying. Now I'm out. <laughs>